Welcome back to the worldwide headquarters of The Successful Contractor. On today's episode, we're going to talk about ChatGPT. Chat what? Yeah, it's ChatGPT, and you're probably thinking, like many people, hey, I just build things. I don't need no robots in my business. But you might be surprised. We're going to discuss how ChatGPT can change your business, even though you're in construction. And all that's coming up right now on Successful Contractor. If you're like most people, you can't help but have heard the word chat GPT. But unlike most people, you're not sure how that affects you as a contractor. I'm gonna show you the three different ways we're using chat GPT in our business to make us better, more efficient, and have better marketing. So come with me right now. When I heard about all this chat GPT nonsense, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. So the first thing I did is I created an account and I logged in. Really easy to do. Understand there are two different ways that you can use chat GPT. One is free and one is paid. The paid subscription will cost you about $20 a month, and the free subscription is, well, free. Smart. Very smart. So the first way I'm using ChatGPT is basically to just make sure that all of my speech, grammar, punctuation, and everything is accurate. Sometimes we use a lot of slang, and that can be ill-received. Sometimes we need to send emails or letters to people, and we just want to sound professional, right? A lot of times I will type my letter out, and then I'll submit it to ChatGPT and say, hey, just rewrite this, and it usually does a better job and makes sure it's a pun. Make sure. See, I can't even talk right, let alone type right. That just helps me make sure I'm presenting the best image of our company that I can so people aren't thinking, hey, this guy's a schmuck. He doesn't even know how to talk or type. Yeah, schmucks! And the cool thing is, is you can use speech to text to even put all that information in there if you're really terrible at typing. There are probably some of you that know me a little better than others, and those of you that know me probably know that I'm having a, a smidge of a tiff with my pool builder. What I want to say and what I should say are two different things. So the nice thing about chat GPT is I can tell it what I want to say and then say, hey, rewrite this in a nice way. And chat GPT will censor that for me just a little bit. So I've used it a couple times recently just to help me make sure that I filter what I'm saying so that it sounds good. I guess I should give some context. So because of this tiff, they said they need to have a meeting on site and I'm not allowed to video audio or record it, but this is my house. So I don't feel like they get to dictate that. And this is because during a previous meeting, due to Florida laws, ah, bonus nuggy, bonus nuggy right here. Due to Florida laws, Florida is a two-party consent state, meaning that you have to have both parties consent to be able to video or audio record if you want that to be a legally binding thing. You can record anytime you want, but if you want to potentially use that in court, it needs to be two to two-party consent. Anyhow, we've always had cameras at our house. We always will have cameras at our house. I'm not turning them off or taking them down for them, especially given the fact that this has gotten somewhat contentious. So my response to them saying I can't video audio record was, our house is and always has been under video and audio surveillance, and we will not change that, especially now. If you don't want to be recorded, do not enter the property. However, I will not be present or interfere with our meeting in any way. The trust is gone, and we will have a project camera present at all times, whether I am there or not. I'm sure you teach your children about trust and this is like that. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I shouldn't send that exactly. So my prompt, and prompts are key when you're using ChatGPT, was rewrite in a nice tone to which ChatGPT reformulated to read this. We kindly inform you that our home maintains continuous video and audio surveillance, a measure which we have had in place since the beginning and to intend to keep, especially during this time. If you have concerns about being recorded, we kindly ask you to refrain from entering the property. It's important to note, however, that I will not be present or involved in their meeting in any capacity. Regrettably, trust has been compromised, and as a result, we have decided to install a project camera that will be in operation at all times, regardless of my presence. Surely, as responsible individuals, we understand the value of teaching our children about trust, and this situation can serve as a valuable lesson in that regard. See, doesn't that sound nice? That sounds so much better than what I wrote. This is so much better. And that's all thanks to ChatGPT. So not only that, but the spelling, the punctuation, everything is correct. That's how you can use it to filter all the communications that you send out that you need to sound professional. The first way that we actually started using ChatGPT is because we wanted it to write all of our social media posts. We realized that a lot of social media posts go out and we don't have a copywriter on staff. And this basically is taking the place of our copywriter. So that's tip number two. Use it to make all your social media posts. All you have to do is tell it what your sentiment is. And so let's try this. I'm gonna tell it to write a social media post about the benefits of vinyl fence.
I don't like, are you seeing this? This is amazing. Okay, so we can look through this. It even used, it even used emojis. It put the emojis in there. How amazing is that? We're gonna use the prompt to make it shorter. See, now I have a nice small social prompt and it's got some nice little houses and stars and see that's how you can use it for social posts. Remember, prompts are key. So if you can think of the prompt, you can probably do this stuff. And that took seconds. The tip here is to make sure that you're reading through that and that makes sense because it is AI. It doesn't know exactly what to say, but usually you get a really good idea and that you'll avoid putting out those social media posts that sound terrible and don't elevate your brand. So the same thing goes for your website. One of the things I hated about creating a new website is they're like, hey, what do you want to say about your fence on each one of these pages? And I'm like, I don't know that my stuff's good. Smart. Very smart. It's not really the image you want to put out there. This will help you do that. But another bonus tip, don't make it too wordy because nobody's reading that anyhow. Put good video and good pictures out there because a lot of that stuff gets lost. You want the words that you put on there to matter a lot. You're welcome. Tip number three, I can use it for safety meetings. So my prompt was write a safety meeting about skill saw safety. And so it puts this thing out and I can send this in an email so everybody's prepared for Monday morning on our Monday morning safety meeting and it says attention team members. We have important safety meeting to discuss a critical topic, skill saw safety. And then it goes in to list all the different things. Familiarize yourself, get acquainted, personal protective equipment, secure work area, boom. Safety topic, if I can think it up, chat GPT will write it for me. Just like that, so fast, so efficient, so amazing. Incredible. Now everybody's worried about chat and GPT taking over the world and I'll tell you what, I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's gonna be amazing. If they can figure out how to make chat GPT install these fences for me, I'm on board. But until then, you know how to use it to do all the other things that have to do with writing that maybe you don't like to do or don't want to do or maybe you're not good at it like me. And those are three different ways, not even the end. I could probably come up with 10 more. I just didn't wanna make the video that long. But that's three different ways that we're using ChatGPT in our construction business to save time, make our lives easier, and put out better content that makes us look professional and elevates our brand. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you wanna see some other tips and tricks for construction contractors, check out this video right over here. Or if you just wanna binge on our content, watch this video right over here. I'm Mark with Successful Contractor, and I hope you have a good dang day.